Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, beloved people of God, praise the Lord, the living God of Israel. Ladies and gentlemen, beloved people of God, praise the Lord, the living God of Israel, whose name is Jehovah. Yeah, this is Apostle Reuben Habasa, a prophet messenger of God Most High in this generation. Beloved people of God, I have a message for you. And the message says, true knowledge about the body and the spirit. True knowledge about the body and the spirit. This will be part one of my message. True knowledge about the body and the spirit. And this is part one of my message. Beloved people of God, I want you to understand this. In between the body and the spirit, we have the soul. Every human being has the body and the spirit. And what connects the body and the spirit, it is what we call the soul. But I'm going to talk very much about the body and the spirit. When you study history, when you study about the creation of human, when you study about the Bible, you will find out that the first body came from the dust of the ground. The first body came from the dust of the ground. But the spirit came direct from God. When you study the creation, according to the Bible, the book of Moses called Genesis, when you study the creation, and according to the Bible in the book of Moses called Genesis, the first body of Adam, it came from the dust of the ground. And the spirit came from God. Beloved people of God, I want you to understand this. God is spirit. God, creator of human race, is spirit. So all spirits of human, human came from God. So before every human being is in his mother's womb, your spirit is already there in God. Beloved people of God watching me, before you were in your mother's womb, you were there. Your spirit was there. Your spirit was in God. Remember, God is spirit. So when your body was formed in your mother's womb, God commanded his angel to bring your spirit from him to your mother's womb. And that body inside your mother's womb became a living soul. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise God. The body came from the dust of the ground. Because the body came from the dust of the ground, this is why the body needs food from its source. So everything gets food from its source, from where it came from, from where it originated from. This is why your body needs food from the ground. Like the matoke we eat, the cassava, the potatoes. All those types of food we eat, it is planted in the ground where our bodies came. So that food we eat, it is for our bodies. Even the medicine we take from science, all medicine are from fruits, the roots, leaves, to mention but a few. The leaves, the roots, the fruits, all of them get their food from the ground. So whenever we are taking medicine, whenever we are taking medication, we are taking it for our body. And all this food comes from the ground. And because the body came from the ground, this body needs that food to survive. So the source of the body, it is the ground. So for that matter, this body must take food from its source, the ground. When the body says it has rejected the food from its source, it shall die. 
it shall rot, it shall perish. Beloved people of God watching me, I want you to understand this. The body shall never go to heaven, the body shall never go to hell. All what you dream are just, all what you think are just dreams. Or it is false knowledge you received from religious systems. But your body, your body shall never go to heaven. Your body shall never go to hell. The body came from the ground and it returns to the ground and lots. The heaven and the hell of the body is found here on this earth. The heaven and the hell of the body is found here on this earth. Even on the last day, those who shall be chosen to inherit the kingdom of heaven, they shall be given new bodies of heaven. But those earthly bodies shall never go to heaven, shall never go to hell. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Beloved people of God, I want you to understand this. Your spirit came from God. And before you were in your mother's womb, you were there. Your spirit was there. And when your body was formed in your mother's womb, God commanded his angel to bring your spirit inside your mother's womb. And you became a living soul. So because the source of your spirit is God, so for that matter, your spirit needs food from its source. You need spiritual food. Your spirit came from God. God is the source of your spirit. So for that matter, your spirit needs spiritual food. What I preach and teach, it is the living word of God. What I preach and teach, it is God himself. What I preach and teach, it gives you the spiritual food and this benefits your spirit. And when you hear what I preach and teach and believe, you receive a new spirit. Your spirit becomes born again. That is the second birth. Your spirit receives the first resurrection. And all those who receive the first resurrection, the second death has no power over them. That says the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. So, beloved people of God, your spirit needs the spiritual food, and this is what I preach and teach. I, Reuben Habasa, a servant of God most high. According to Genesis chapter 1, Genesis chapter 1, Genesis chapter 1, verse 26, it says, and God said, let us make man in our image after our likeness and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the air and over the cattle and over all the earth and over every living creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. Listen, why did God say, let us make man in our own image? He never said in my own image. Why? Remember, God is spirit. So all human beings were in God. Moses was in God. Elijah was in God. I, Reuben, I was in God. Even you watching me, you were in God as spirit. Before you were in your mother's womb, you were in God as spirit. This is why God said, let us create man in our own image. So the breath that is within you, the spirit that is within you is in the image of God. Remember, God is spirit. Religious system will confuse you and give you false message, false knowledge, telling you that God was talking about that God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. That is falsehood. There is only one God, creator of heaven and earth, whose name is Jehovah. Otherwise, I'm also God. The Bible clearly says we are gods. But this does not mean that we have received God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. 
The Bible does not mention a such thing. It just originated from Roman Catholics. What the Bible says, it says in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. It does not say God. The Father, God, the Son, God, the Holy Spirit. God is one, God is Spirit. His name is Jehovah. I'm talking about God, the creator of everything. Otherwise, as children of God, we are like God, we are God. But God, our creator, is one. Hallelujah. So God saying that, let us create man in our own image. He never said in my own image, but he said in our own image. This indicates that all human race, we were in God. Because God is spirit. So your spirit was in God. My spirit was in God. Adam was in God. Elijah was in God. Moses was in God. Abraham, Isaac, even Jesus of Nazareth, Apostle Peter, they were in God. This is why he said, let us create man in our own image. According to Genesis chapter 2, verse 7, the Bible says, And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground, and breathed onto his nostrils the breath of life, and man became a living soul. And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground, and breathed onto his nostrils the breath of life, and man became a living soul. Here, Man, God is talking about the body. The body was created and formed from the dust of the soul. But the breath, the spirit, came direct from God. This is the reason I told you, your body needs food from the ground. Your body needs food from its source, where it came from, the ground. And your spirit needs food from its source, where it came from. That is God. Your spirit came from God. So it needs the spiritual food. What I preach and teach, it is the spiritual food. What I preach and teach, it gives you life in your spirit. That is eternal life. The second birth. Because you were born spiritually dead, this message I preach and teach, it gives you the first resurrection. That is your second birth. That was part one of my message that talks about the true knowledge about body and spirit. Part one of my message that talks about the body and the spirit. I remain Apostle Ruben Habasa, a prophet messenger of God Most High in this generation. My WhatsApp number is plus 256 my WhatsApp number is plus 256-75-666-3573. Good morning and win forever.